her. Only I can stop her. Charlie! I know, I know. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Okay, but first... Yes! We can pet the spicy dog. Good girl, Charlie. Well, we got arcade knowledge and 12 credits, and also Charlie got, like, hearts all over her head. So that's, that's instantly a plus 5 for any game. You could pet the dog. One more. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> I'm going. Thing I know the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. I don't get it. Strange couldn't just magic his way in. Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? I'm a vampire. I see everything. <sighs> this is going to be a fun apocalypse. Hunter. Oh, check out Blade making nice with the big guns. I thought Caretaker told them no more guns in the house. Captain Marvel is an exception. So, he's supposed to be playing nice, right? Right, and now Stark is hard at work in the forge coming up with something for the Hunter? The Hunter needs it after that last meeting. Yeah, Blade's voice is very familiar. I I don't know who the voice actor is exactly. But it's I feel like it's close to the Wesley Snipes voice from the movies. Which is nice. We'll see. Heroic essence, please. Is there more random stuff for me to pick up now? Yes, there is. All right, I'm going for another walk around the whole place. There's more stuff I can loot. The game's gone and fucked up again, and we're going to get yelled at. <coughs> More mushrooms. They can talk all they want. I'm, I'm out here picking mushrooms. And apparently, I've left my dolls out here. Mm -hmm. 
Still can't do anything with that. I can't jump, so I'm gonna get stuck on every little thing that I can't walk over. I probably don't need to look everywhere, but... <coughs> if I could pick up another wolf spade while I'm out here, that'd be nice. I feel like I picked up all the tarot cards that were lying around. Hello? Didn't get that. We've already looked at that. I guess I can go down into the forge now. <clears throat> now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. Uh, I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed right caretaker said this all happened after your siesta what spooky castle would be complete without its own babylonian demon powered furnace sumerian fire demon his name is babs oh now it all makes sense well once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation i found this thing actually has some uses molecular bonding breaking down evil gamma serums fashion accessorizing mm -hmm. yes yeah, speaking of Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I still think I could have used a cloak. <coughs> Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I do not. Oh, I've heard the things you whisper to your cape when you think no one's listening. Ah, oh, the joys of sharing a workspace. 
And I'll have you know this club has helped me save the universe from extinction on countless occasions. The colors on this suit could do with some work. I'm sure we can change them with enough gloss. Uh, I like the straps of leather for my swords, but I still think I prefer the medieval armor. But we could change that later. I have, but it considers you something of a slob. <coughs> Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, watery or itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. In any event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago, but I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Santorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing was this close to making it menthol-flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. I 
I thought the old one was pretty nice, actually. So did Venom. I think he's still picking a few pieces of it from his teeth. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. Oh, we got a cat. <coughs> we got a spicy dog and a black cat. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Also, it is Matt Mercer doing some voices. Nice. Yeah, I can tell they have a lot of good voice actors so far. There's decent emotion going on. Even in the small stuff like the back and forth there between uh, Hunter and Iron Man and Doctor Strange. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? How's it going, boss? Aw, <coughs> oh, the purr thing, yeah. The kitten loves the purr thing. What do you think? Alright, so this is how we get more cards. Uh... Hmm... Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard.
They're doing mad libs, all right. <coughs> Got a new card. Yeah, we, we got a new card. Why is that thing still highlighted? Oh. Well, uh. I come in here and customize. Yes. Okay, we got a lot. We have a lot here. And they're all preview locked, preview locked, preview locked, preview locked. Oh. Uh. I can't change back to my old outfit? Ah. Uh. Dude, come on. All right, we're, we gotta play through the story to get more unlocks, and then also get more gloss to buy more unlocks. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Oof. Harsh. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? <laughs> She didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. All right, I wasn't expecting the joke to be that harsh either, but there we go. Can I ask about you? I guess. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter. But I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Back again. Alright, the next three cards apply to bleed. <coughs> and he's in his outfit. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get something to drink so I stop coughing. 
I almost forgot we put him in the night outfit. I'm surprised we didn't get minus one friendship for that. Uh, but that joke was way too harsh. I wasn't expecting it to be that mean. I still say we should have built a firing range first. All right, it's in his deck. And we can customize Captain Marvel. Both nice choices. Her normal suit is fine. Well, I'd love to take a cough drop, but I used the last one at the start of the stream and I gotta go buy more tomorrow. <coughs> It's the, the, the one, like, sash that's throwing me off about medieval Marvel. I don't know the the suit for Marvel. I really like, but I think I like her with the short hair better. It's the padding in the shoulders, right, and the forearms. It makes her seem stronger. I'm gonna leave her default though. And her Abby outfit is fine. I'm not going to click on the swimsuit because uh, I, I don't know what they have her in and I'm hoping it's not as skin tight as what they put all the dudes in. I'm going to get a drink real quick though. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun. But we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra. 
They've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. On the prowl? Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Kree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. Oh, we waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... Oh, I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. Gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Stark's holographic monstrosity better not scratch my table. I can't just hop over to Atlantis and pick up another one, you know. Look, they can't... <coughs> They can't, uh, the animate goosebumps. That's a little too high def for what they're trying to do. I mean, the whole worlds that I walk around is actually rendered for some reason. <laughs> I can tell because when I swap, when I pull a 180 in a split second, it doesn't, like, there's no stutter. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. It really sucks that I can't switch back to my old costume and we've gone through all the trouble of putting Blade in a medieval costume. I wanted us to match for like one mission. <laughs> and we got new swords.
They're nice, but they look a bit too much like elf blades for me. I don't... They're very pretty, but I don't like the design. Signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Almost feels like cheating with you two on our side. Not bad for our first team, huh? abandoned off the description of this place you seeing this Bruce getting all sorts of weird down there yo on a fan off that dick I heard he was dead well hoped is perhaps a more accurate description calls himself Faustus now Hydra's resident mad scientist not just Hydras, Liliths. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <laughs> Gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Fastest a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. don't have knockback. I like that it gives her block. Uh... That could be nice to start with. Exactly what I needed. Alright, we got a nice chain strike. We can take that guy and that guy out. Or, we can hit this guy and chain into that guy. I don't like wasting the bleed, but I do like knocking two enemies don't off the board. Play. Some for the rest of us. Tail that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nice. That's what I want right there. Here we go. Don't make the same mistake twice. Hey, that hurt. Armada moving into position. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? Weak, even for Hydra. Now that's interesting. 56% chance to throw him down a hole. Uh, that's just an immediate removal, if I get lucky. That's guaranteed damage. And I've got three plays. Blade's got bleed on his next two attacks. Your face is sealed. Never seen that before. Ah, uh, discarded knee strike. I don't need two block, but it deals five damage. So let's see if it gives me two block or five block. It says it gives five because it deals five. Maybe you should teach me that one. I feel more like myself every day. Plus nine health is nice. out of range of that and I want to be out of range of that uh let's redraw what the heck is happening here and why you no know, let's just stand next to that thing and uh I have to call my turn there Don't know when to quit. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guy. That should help. Watch me. Feeling strong today. Let's give Captain Marvel some hits. Ooh, come on. There we go. Take this.
One more time. That's a neat trick. Go! Now! Quickly! Go, go, go! Perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device. We get objective cards for certain missions. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? Come get it. Something. You are lucky to still be breathing. Interesting. Uh, hmm. I could definitely, a reposition, I could definitely photon beam both of those guys. But let's get that heroism up. Get it sounds to me like they just missed their mama. I... That's going to explode if I hit it. But I would like to, like, stand somewhere over here and try to blast all three of these guys. If that's possible. Yes. And I missed the barrel. Great. Flawless. I don't know what that binary down here is, but I assume... <laughs> oh! It's a passive ability that Miss Marvel has. Or that Captain Marvel has. Miss Marvel's a different hero. Which is confusing. I just control the situation. Did someone feel a breeze? Got a little woozy.
This is gonna get messy. All right, the so preliminary play... analysis of the blast confirms <laughs> high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. I have to play to one you. card to be able to use Miss Marvel dark again. magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it. Was that truly your best? Well, what is that? I can't... Oh, ooh, 40 damage and it's a drop. Okay. I have to be directly under it in that little square. Hydra's standards have fallen a great deal. I discarded Chain Strike. That's annoying. thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Not a problem. I should have chain strike these two goons first, like I was thinking about, but I was hoping Whip would discard something else. Uh, I can't forget this game is similar to XCOM, so you can't, you can't take chances. I'm gonna smack that dude into Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel. I keep saying Miss Marvel. You asked for it. Not the best. That's a lot of damage to my own hero. We'll have to do better than that. My time is short. Crystal clear, we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. Didn't think I could get any stronger. I'm on it. That gives me two heroism. I'll put this to good use. Which lets me use this and finish that guy off. A lot. Let's do it. <laughs> We've done it. What is this thing? Bad guy crate, full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one, almighty. 
something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? <laughs> Oh, only two stars, not three? Finished in six turns. I bet if I finished in less turns, it would give me another star. <coughs> uh, anyone else noticed Blade's eyes were not right in that last scene? He might... <laughs> I might need to give him a different suit just so he has the glasses. He's, at, he's looking around like he's blind, but he's not. He's got vampire eyes. Which are supposedly better than human eyes. Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? And you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. <sighs> it is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. I should rest another time. Let me see, how did this work again? So where's Charlie? Our dog isn't gonna sleep in our room at night? We can't customize? I mean, we can, I just have to go through menus. in there you just replied to me good you answered getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here and despite what Robbie says I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven blood magic stuff cool room spacious Oh, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! 
I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? Now I can customize. <coughs> Dude, room upgrades, room customization, what the? I don't want to spend- I have 94 gloss. We barely got any gloss from that last mission. A plush dog bed? Maybe. Rugby definitely looks nice. I could do with some wall frames. Definitely curtains, but that's for later. I kind of like that, but I, it's a hundred gloss. It's, I need so much gloss. <laughs> These each have different passive abilities. That is nice. I like to change my weapons though. That's 50. That's 50. It's harsh. I'm gonna get that real quick. We need more gloss. I also want an arcane key to find out what the hell is in these chests. These missions can't be good for caretaker's blood pressure. That's twice now her precious hunter has almost gotten smacked by Hydra. Wait, I see the dog. Hold on. Yes! Good girl, Charlie. <coughs> Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well, we can start you out with one of my favorites. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? 
I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. I really needed that. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries! I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. Mm. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The Staff of One interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the Staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. Yes, I need gloss. Is there any more I can pick up? Looks like the doors are shut, so I can't go wandering outside. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha, she's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce, indomitable, or maybe just kind to a fault. Agatha's power, how could she be gone? She put her trust in the wrong person. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even ash to remember her by. 
The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. Ah, <sighs> Wanda, Agatha, it seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Oh, balance. <coughs> I don't like abilities they use in combat affecting that, but... I can sprint. That's nice. But we're following the dog. Well, the cat Tony's afraid of was Agatha's cat, and it's here somewhere. Agatha! You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride, even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? All right, I feel like Agatha might be a trap for the long run. Might be, but uh, magic, whatever. It's just, oh, the idea of opening a blood gate is what makes me feel like it's a trap. looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with wanda it's become something of a habit for her i have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her 
Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. That is... something. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. <sighs> trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Charlie? The Old Gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. The spicy dog can spit fire. That's nice. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Alright, so if I... Knock these out with any card play, then... <coughs> Leave some for the rest yep, of us. it gets refunded. Nice. I can hit those two with rocks. Now that was something. I don't like that with discards, so we're gonna real quick. There's a rock there, and there's a rock there, so those two I can take out. Hit this guy. You were too weak for this fight. That's good. Your mother abandoned you. Ouch. Jesus. <laughs> they cannot possibly match your strength. All right, one round. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but 
But don't worry. The other gods are waiting. There's a nice three star. A hundred gloss. Finished in one turn. Can I pick a higher difficulty? No. Mm. Oof. I think Caretaker is going to be pissed. That was a little too obvious. I have very clearly broken that. And there is shiny stuff over there. Hello? Oh, okay, so... That's for getting big rewards on hangout bonuses. Each hero can only attend a single haven, and each haven can only be used once. So this is that that's just a dating sim. There's a dating sim in this game. The wolfsbane grew around here, right? Yes, no. Before I do what it's telling me to do, I want some more Wolfsbane. Because we got a bunch of mushrooms, but only one thing of Wolfsbane. I'm not seeing it. I'm pretty sure it was in this area. place but it's your birthright and I think after everything you've been through you can handle it now the two of you as well as your mother are the last of your kind the blood your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves and if you call upon them you might just find they're actually listening they won't work miracles for you but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Alright, so that's why we can't jump. Blessings of the goddess. Hello? Still no keys? After all this time, 
It's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. <laughs>